Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you're ready for some Baldur's Gate 3. It's quite a day. It's the day before Starfield comes out. For those of us... <coughs> pardon me. Who have the uh, premium or deluxe edition, whatever it's called. I believe we get to play it tomorrow. It's available for pre-order, I'm sorry, for, for uh, pre-loading on Steam right now. So I've got it downloading in the background right now. I'm uh, getting it all pre-loaded in time for our, our broadcast of Starfield tomorrow. I'm super excited. Hope you guys are too. The broadcast is early today. Don't know if you noticed, but I'm about an hour early than I usually am. I went on Twitter and told everyone I was going to be going live a bit early today. The reason is because uh, my kids' school schedule has changed this year compared to last year. Um, and so I've, I'm now available about an hour earlier. It means I'm getting up about an hour earlier as well. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to make this permanent. We'll see. But I think it would be kind of nice to do this live stream a little bit earlier during the weekday. So we'll try it out today, see how it goes. Also, news of the day, I know there's a hurricane uh, barreling its way through Florida right now. So, um, hopefully everybody in Florida watching is staying safe, going to... What, what do you do in, in a hurricane? You go to high ground, I guess? Or go to far away ground? That's what you do. You go to far away ground. Ground that is far away from the hurricane, I suppose. So anyway, if, if you're in the, the path of the hurricane, please stay safe. And uh, make sure you check up on all your loved ones in the way and make sure they're okay but for today we're playing more Baldur's Gate and um, I've been thinking about what I want to do and I think I've covered most of the map there's the spider cave inside the one goblin town that I didn't clear I didn't like that cave or the spiders I don't think I want to go back there's the grandma hag lady and I didn't like that cave either. Lots of weird poison clouds around there. I don't think I want to go back. So uh, we've got two choices. We can take the overland route through the mountains, or we can try to find the underground tunnel in the goblin camp. And that's what I think I'm going to do. But that means that there's probably a bunch of goblins still alive in the goblin camp, and they're likely to be hostile. So what I'm guessing is going to happen is we're going to go to the goblin camp and have to fight through a bunch of goblins to try and find this underground tunnel, this passage that leads to the next chapter of the game. That's where I'm at right now. All right, it's good to see everybody on YouTube. Let's refresh Facebook here, make sure we've got that going live. It looks like we are live. Hey, everybody on YouTube. There we go. Good to see Harold, Ruby, Sean, Alexis, Garrett, Rum, Monogold, Alicia, Wolf. So glad to see everyone on Facebook today. Stephen Schulte. Love those familiar faces. And of course, all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. And all of the mods. Lots of mods in the chat. Thank you so much. Julian Z, Spencer Slavin, Robert Moneygold, Laura Elstad, Zartu, uh, Sean McElroy, Alt Grendel, Tony J, uh, Tony J, Jersey. And it's Julian Z with the first super chat of the day. It says, Good morning, Ox. So glad. Or so good to see you on this Baldur's. Wednesday. Hope you're well. One day, seven hours and 50 minutes. So excited. We've literally waited for years, but the last few hours are always the hardest. Don't forget to preload. <laughs> Thank you, Julian Z. Man, I know you're thrilled. There are so many people that have been waiting with bated breath for this game, and uh, I know I am one of them. Uh, I'm preloading right now. Uh, it's downloading, so don't worry. I'm going to be ready for when the time comes. Man, I just can't ever seem to get my glasses clean. You know what it is? It's that light. It shines right at me. And so I, I notice any speck of dirt on my glasses that I normally wouldn't notice without a light shining directly at me. Julian Z says, also, Ox, what will you do? Play Starfield at 5 p.m., then stop at 7 for Scotch and Smoke Rings? Or will you cancel Scotch and Smoke Rings and just do a long Starfield stream? 
I'm probably going to cancel Scotch and Smoke Rings and do a, a, a long Starfield field stream uh, because it's launch day. And, you know, you got to be there for launch day. That's probably what I'm going to do. Alt Grendel says, hey, Ox, do you, did you see that they've announced Little Nightmares 3 for 2024? No, I didn't know that. That's great. <laughs> uh, we all enjoyed Little Nightmares 1 and 2 on this channel. Uh, even produced some shorts about Little Nightmares, which uh, were really fun. So, yeah, I, I'd love to tackle Little Nightmares 3 when it comes out. Rachel says, tip from the husband. You can hopefully stealth through the goblin camp if you come in through the side instead of the front. Okay, uh, I'll try that. The thing is, I don't know where I'm going, right? Remember, uh, the druid Halden, or Halsen, or whatever, said that the entrance is sealed, and he doesn't know where it is. And we heard some of the goblins talking, and we looked around ourselves, and we didn't, we haven't really found the entrance yet, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Danilo says, don't worry, Ox, you still have stuff to do before going to the next act. Even if you take the path to the Githyanki Kresh, you need to take another exit towards the next act. Well, I wanted to go towards the Githyanki Kresh to complete that quest, but when I tried going that way, it said I was un underleveled, and uh, that wasn't the path that the druid recommended. Julian Z says, started my preload this morning already at 89%. Yay, that's great, my friend. Deuteronomus says, Oxhorn, you'd better give us at least an hour or two of warning before you start the first episode of Starfield. I'd hate to be late. I'm, I mean, I'll do my best, but you know the way it is with these um, launch days. is Anything can go wrong. I remember when we were doing uh, the launch day for uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I was there right on time, but the game wasn't available like uh until 45 minutes after the stated time, I believe. So I had to kill time on camera while we waited for the game to be available on Steam. Rachel says, you can at least get into the temple from the east. Didn't I explore that temple already, Rachel? That, that's one of the first places I discovered when playing Baldur's Gate, and I think I went around back behind it and explored it. Did I not explore that? I thought I did. Zartu, a member for 55 months and a silver ox, says, Ox, two things. Save the people in the burning inn where you stopped the last time. Change the bow that Shadowheart has. She's not proficient with it. That's right. We stopped right outside a big uh, burning building. And I think I remember hearing goblins in the goblin camp talking about a recent raid that they had done where there was a bunch of success. Could this be the same place? Yeah, let's check that out first then. Okay, I had forgotten about that. So not going directly to the goblin camp. Rachel says the temple in the goblin camp where the entrance is. All right, I'll have to keep my eyes, my eyes open when we get back to the goblin camp. Okay, cigar, check. Coffee? Check. Game? Check. Barty Horn? Check. Okay, let's see. We were right outside that inn when we logged out, right? Yeah, we can hear him screaming. I 
I've got a short rest. Let's do it. Raider. He of the unsleeping eyes, grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. What the hell's happened here? My condolences to you. We could pass a Baldurian check to say looks like he wasn't cut out to be a flaming fist. Or we could leave. Well, that sounds really cruel, so let's say my condolences to you. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. Uh-oh. What the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. And we can leave. Well, I probably shouldn't loot his body. Though... Yeah, it's red. If I try to loot it now, I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay. So these are the drow that died. With the goblins. We're gonna find goblins. Someone needs help. Gonna find Drow yeah. craft armor. No magic left though. Sun's too bright. Teach us care when we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. So it is broken. Block doors. Grand you Raven Guard could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. Uh well, a number of options here. What happened to this place? Goblins and drow happened. Now push, damn it! Oh, I lost my my other option. I, I could have passed a, a persuasion check a moment ago, but it's gone. Uh, we'll push against the wreckage. All right, we did it. So I really need to take advantage of my skill checks and my class checks when I have the opportunity because I could lose them. <laughs> Body horn Inside, smiles. Hurry. We don't have much time. <laughs> Look at that big smile. Oh, I guess I just took a strength potion we by accident. Hear you. Stay where you are. We don't have much time. Find out. Rescue the Grand Duke. All right, I'm coming. Hang tight. I, I got a big strength potion. I'm super macho, man. Someone help! Heat coming off that door. I could smell trouble. I'm coming. Wow. Well, I think I think I did something bad. I think I'm. <coughs> the fire! Hurry! Get this thing off me! Strength? Uh... We could pretend the beam is too heavy to lift with a bard and performance check. We could use an investigation check to find leverage to shift the beam. That only grants us a plus two. Or we could pass the strength check to brace ourselves and lift the wreckage. However, even though I took the the strength potion, it only gives me, um, this one gives me two. 
Let's try that first. 15. Ooh. Not enough. Alright, I wonder if I still have an opportunity to use strength. Oh, I can roll again! With inspiration. And just. <clears throat> I think that's it. <sighs> Thank you. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? The door's that way. You're on your own, or come on, follow me. Oh dear. If we say he's on his own, he's probably going to get killed. Let's have him follow us. <coughs> right. I'll try to keep up. Which means we got a follower. Some allies may temporarily join you. You can directly control their movements and actions. Click the follower's portrait, yada yada. Okay. All right, well, we need to find a way out. This is all on fire. Can I put that out with water? Water, water, water. Surely I've got some water. Okay, I know I've seen water in my inventory at some point. Uh, antidotes. Ocean dye, smoke powder bomb, alcohol. water. Here we go. Why is it not on my hot bar here? Get off the fire. Gail, oh, what are you doing standing on fire? No time to rest. Okay, uh... Did that not work? that did not work. Right, well, we're gonna have to find another way. Why is it in... Broken door. Can I do anything there? No. Come on. Whatever it is, save it for now. Ready and willing to move the right on. Save your thoughts for later. Why is he not following? Waste a step. Not now. Wow. Well, I mean, this this was this was wow. This was just a complete. I don't even know. Well, that was. I guess that's how fire works. But yeah. Keep going a little longer now. 
Well, that poor guy died. Um, Hunter says, if, if Red Dead Redemption 1 never comes to PC, would you consider playing it on a console or on easy mode? Or maybe emulators? That way you could play with mouse and keyboard? No, I will not play on a console. I prefer to play on PC. So I really hope it comes out to PC. Uh, John DeGian Berardino says, Hey, Ox and all, can't stay since I'm in class this week. Pumped for Starfield, though. Me too. Not now. Okay, uh, now we gotta figure out how to knock this door down. Uh, Okay. Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. There we go. Fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet. Report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Oh, really? Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May reward? I trust you'll see it through? Okay, let's see. Uh, lots of options here. Two Baldurian checks. Raven guards a champion to the people of Baldur's Gate. Or I owe no fealty to some upper city toff. Um, or we can ask some questions. Uh, actually, we could say the Absolute's cult is based at Moonrise Towers. That's where they will have taken the Duke. Moonrise Towers, along the old road. That place is cursed. Few could survive there, unless darker forces are at work. This was no random attack. The Grand Duke was their target. Okay, who is Duke Ravenguard? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Hmm. We could say you'll need to find him without my help, or I'll head west and find Duke Ravenguard. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Approach the towers with care. The land itself has been swallowed in shadow. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist, to work. Reward, rescue the Grand Duke. We learned that the Grand Duke was captured by Dro and taken westward. You'll receive uh, the Sparky Points, the Jolt Shooter, or the Spell Sparkler. Okay, uh, we have to choose one of these now. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, so this is a, a spear, it looks like.
a longbow, so we couldn't use this longbow. And the spell sparkler. This is a staff. Electric veins. When the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges, main hand only. Uh, all right. Well, I don't think I have a character who's proficient with a longbow. Well, let's do the staff. SVG2000 Gaming says, do you still have the staff with the water spell? Oh my god. I did have a staff with a water desire. spell, didn't I? I remember reading about it, yeah, but I don't uh, recall who's got it now. Hmm. Quite ready for you. So he's currently using Sorrowful oh, Lash. Let me shy. Let me shy. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is. Maybe I sold it. But it looks like these people are putting the so fires broken, out for us. And so is it done. This place is still inflamed. I don't think I want to explore it right now. Hot I two. bet if we come back... The fire will be out. That's a dead mercenary. I don't think I want to loot him because it's red. I'll get in trouble for that. Yoink! However, it's not red. Rella. A is for Azuth and other gods. Read that later. Okay, this is the other side of that door. Rachel says, if you explore the surrounding buildings slash area slash stable areas, you may find an alternative entrance to the Underdark. Oh, well, that's definitely a good tip. Uh, cool. Well, I'll do that. I'm really bummed that uh, I couldn't put the fire out by throwing water at it. You'd think that would work. I mean, perhaps I did it incorrectly. All right, so we've got a platform over here. I think we're just going to have to run through this fire, really. Took a little bit of fire damage. Just stayed interesting. We got through. A sweet key. That's one sweet key. Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me.
What if I use the throw skill? Will it then allow me to select water from my inventory? I bet you it would, yeah. There's another water. I mean, let's try it. Can I get in here? Too big, aren't I? We got a water barrel there, that's great. But there's no fire in this section, so. Let's see what's in the haystack. Surprised this hay hasn't gone up in flames yet. Surprised this hay hasn't gone up in flames yet. My faith will guide me. There's something hidden here, in the hay. Hey. Still alive. So that's progress. Alright, a dowry ring, gold, and an agate. I really need to uh, improve Barty Horn's perception. <clears throat> Thankfully, Shadowheart has decent perception. Okay, so two big things of water if I need. These boots have seen everything. Moving around in there. You can move objects around. Stronger characters can move heavier objects. Left mouse click to drag it to move. Cool. Hello. <clears throat> We've got Salazon over there. Let's do a quick save. Christopher Nisonger says, have you tried an ice arrow on the fire? I didn't. Sounds like there are quite a few things that I could try. You spot a man crouching between the shelves. Just as he spots you. Bugger. We could pass a dexterity check to say, wait, listen, <clears throat> that's plus three, or we could detect thoughts to read his mind. Or we could attack him. Ah, uh, let's try the dexterity check. Yay! He freezes, waiting on your next word. We could pass an intimidation check. Careful! You won't kill me, but you will make me mad. Or a persuasion check. Just calm down. I'm not here to fight. Oh, that's a 15? Right. Well, here we go. And a 20! Oh, Helm Torps! I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Oh, hey, down you go then. Did we find a, a shop? Cool. Super secret shop. Hatch. Joaquin's Rest? The Zentarium Basement. Man, I do not like a giant Barty Horn. It's messing up my camera. Mm. 
Okay, what's this? Iron Roads. Inroads by arms dealer Gortash. Nine Fingers, here follows a report on the inroads upstart smuggler Enver Gortash has been making on the illicit arms trade in the Kayonthar Valley, though inroads badly understates the case. Annexation would be more apt. The former black market leaders, the Knights of the Shield, and outside of the city, the Zen Tarim, have largely been supplanted by Gortash's operation. Illegal arms have been uh, never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume that Gortash will stop there. He bears watching closely, Busar Uktar. Well, I don't find a merchant, but uh, lots of containers. Uh, let's keep our eyes peeled, though. Taril, and whatever lies beyond the stars. Hmm. Hey, looky, looky, what is that? Weird Beard says, apologies for going MIA, spent a good chunk of time in the hospital due to an MS exacerbation, and now playing catch up with graduate school. Glad you're enjoying Baldur's Gate, love you old man. Weird Beard, so sorry to hear about the MS exacerbation, but it sounds like you're on the, the tail end of that and, and that you're getting better, and, and that's good news. I'm glad you made it, and I hope you're feeling better. Good to see you again, my friend. Savage Snail says you may need to heal or rest. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably right. But before I do, I want to see what's on the other side of this. Hidden stairs. Waypoint discovered. A Zentarim hideout. Oh, wow. Is this going to lead me to the Underroads or something? That would be cool. And it would mean that I don't have to go back through the Goblin Town. Right, well, it's been a while since I've done a long rest. I've used up all of my short rests. So let's do a long rest. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we got to get between these two now. Lots of options. Relic? This is about that artifact, isn't it? What's going on? Why are you two arguing? Stop squabbling, both of you. We can watch the argument unfold. Or we could leave them to settle their differences and go to sleep. Um, let's say what's going on. Lazelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear. Lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. Okay, so, so far no option to pass a persuasion check, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Stop this. No sense in us fighting with each other. I agree with Shadowheart. The artifact is protecting us. We need it with us. Or Lizelle is right. We don't need to get Yankee as enemies. Or so. Any ideas on how we settle this? Or rest, both of you. Tempers will be cooler in the morning. If I agree with Shadowheart, Lizelle, I lose affinity. If I agree with Lizelle, I lose affinity with Shadowheart. Um, let's try so. Any ideas on how we settle this? The bad blood must be purged. A jewel, come first light. A duel? You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Okay, no, 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 no. Get some rest, Lazel. No, 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 You'll no. You need it. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> no. <laughs> A duel. 
Oh God, they're gonna duel? You had every chance to look the other way, but here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Well, that's not a duel. That's kind of sneaky on Shadowheart's uh, persuasion. Shadowheart, stop. You don't have to do this. Or a half-orc and intimidation check. Your petty quarrels disturbed my rest. Stop at once or I will make you stop. Or we can attack Shadowheart. Uh, well, we have a better chance of passing a persuasion check. Let's do that. Friends. Wade Speakerman, gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Wade. And congratulations to Kevin L., Gary Lalonde, Christopher Lowe, IMG Snap, and GU. All right. Look at that. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Cooperate, Lizelle, for your own sake, or we need her shadow heart. Give her a chance. Um, I don't want to lose affinity, but I think I'm... I'm stuck against a wall here. I have to make a... I have to side with one of them. Which is the, the least confrontational? I guess we need her shadow heart. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Gosh. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. <sighs> okay, looks like I didn't lose any affinity with anybody. That's great. I bet we have some dial- Hey, look at this! It's the dog! He came! It's Scratch! Hi, Scratch! Oh, oh. Oh, that's right. I no longer have my hand, my animal, my speak to animals. We can pet him. And everyone loves that. <laughs> Gail, Will, Carlac approve. Oh, who's a good puppy? Yeah, who's a good boy? Scratchy, scratchy, scratch. Well, um, let's leave. Uh, let me, t do I have another potion of animal speech or whatever so I can talk to him? Yeah, I've got five of those. I hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Okay, we can pet him again. Let's see, can we farm affinity with our companions? Nope, looks like we only get it the once. Okay, well, good to have a puppy. Not sure what he's going to do for us in the camp, but cool. Love it. <laughs> okay, Will has something to say to us. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells. Older Raven God's been taken. Oh, that's right. This had something to do with his story. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, lots of options here. We'll say yes. Drow set fire to the inn and stole away with the Duke. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. Oh! I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Well, that's a reveal. Bustavo Plays says, Sorry I'm late, Ox. Editing a video and got caught up in it. You're going to be the perfect background video to get me through this project, lol. Well, you came in just at the beginning of the stream, so I hope to be background noise for you for, <laughs> for quite some time until you get the project done. We've got two Baldurian checks down here. Curious, I'd heard Duke Ravengard's son left the city or all my time in Baldur's Gate, and I didn't even know Ravengard had children. The thing is, I, he may know these things, but I don't know these things. Uh, then the choice is clear. We should rescue Duke Ravengard. Aren't you worried? Your father's been abducted. I can't trust you if you keep so many secrets. First Mizora, now this. So, I'm not interested in your lineage. Uh, let's just try the curious. I, he I heard Duke Ravengard's son left the city. You heard right. My father and I were close once upon a time. Until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you more. The pact forbids it. My lips are quite literally sealed. He made me an exile. That said, I'm not about to let him suffer at the hands of his captors. <clears throat> you shouldn't keep secrets like this from me, Will. I know. And you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. What do you think the drow want with your father? I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. Menzo Baranzin. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Oh dear. Let's talk about something else. I'm all for it. Okay, so we've got more uh, personal stories we can get from him. Clark W351 says, Ox, I'd like it if you stopped playing great games so I wouldn't have to stop watching and play them myself. <laughs> Excited to watch the replays when I'm done with Baldur's Gate 3, and I can't wait for Starfield to play on. And it's a tough predicament, I gotta say. If I was in your shoes, I wouldn't watch me either. <laughs> I'd play the games myself first. But no, I totally get it. You gotta play the game first, get through it, then come back and watch the replays or join my live streams. But thanks for stopping by. Alt Grendel says, Zero says, Scratch can become a familiar if you keep him happy. What is a familiar? Oh, something that uh, Asterion can feed off of? Hmm. Interesting. Thank you, Alt Grendel and Zero. What's it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the Caldwells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and a talent for courtly dance. Grant, Grant Snyder says, how did Ox come to that conclusion? Isn't that what familiars do? Look, I don't know much about vampires and the occult and, and you know, witchcraft and all that, but aren't familiars... 
Don't vampires use familiars to like feed off of? Isn't is my vampire lore outdated or something? Maybe I don't know what a familiar is. Lore Revolution says uh, familiars are like pets that assist and follow you around. Oh, okay. Thank you, Lore Revolution. I'm, I'm see, I'm learning things here. This is great. Courtly dance. I'd love to see you demonstrate. Oh dear. And now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Or good wine? I'll toast to that, or I shouldn't be surprised. I find you a bit smug, to be honest. <laughs> he is a bit smug when he talks about being the Blade of Frontiers and all of that, but not in a really horrible way. Um, I don't want to see him courtly dance. I really don't. <laughs> Let's do good wine. I'll toast to that. Here, here. Though, truth be told, I'd sooner down a weak old hooch at a ramshackle inn. Better company, and a better buzz. Sure. So, how does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. Yeah. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Oh, uh, quite the handsome devil, if I do say so. Not really a platonic thing to say. A freak of nature. Gods, but you're hideous. Or I see the blade of frontiers. No more and no less. I see a friend who's been touched by the hells and I don't know what to make of it. Oh no, that's not friend, that's fiend. I'm not gonna judge him just because he's been touched by the hells, so we'll say that I see the Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls, but I will slay their monsters, keep them safe, and one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Okay, well. Um, you should get out of this pact, we can say. Yeah, I mean, he should if he can. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Three options. Why obey her at all? What could she do that's worse than she's already done? Can we just attack her the next time she pops up? There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. Let's try that. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Out-bargain her. We can beat her if we put our worms together. That could be taken out of context. Careful there, Bardyhorn. I just... <laughs> that's, that was probably intentional, too. Knowing this game. That was definitely intentional. I'm not choosing that option. Ew! I just fear what she will do to us next, or we'll see if it's worth it. We might need the pact after all. <laughs> not gonna look this man in the eyes and say, let's put our worms together. <laughs> Who wrote this? Come on. <laughs> okay, we'll see. we'll see if it's worth it. That has been its tragedy. I've saved so many with the talents of the Blade. And without the pact, I'm just a man. And what good is my blade then when it's too dull to split monsters? What good is a flame when a mere breath snuffs it out? All right, I'll leave you now. <laughs> Thank God we got out of that without putting our worms together. <sighs> All right, uh, let's see. It looks like he doesn't have anything new. It looks like she doesn't have anything new. Darian doesn't have anything new. Gale doesn't have anything new. 
Now are the ladies. And of course they pitched camp right across from each other. Of course they did. They're not fighting. That's good. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. I'll be keeping an eye on both of you. I don't want a fight happening again. Or I'm surprised you didn't leave. Or that's good. I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. You have an interesting definition of friendly. But yes. Oh, dear. We've got a flirt option. You and I, we share something special, I think. And I want to talk about it. Uh, no, I don't know. Let's talk to Lizelle, see how she feels after all of that. Speak. About your quarrel with Shadowheart. It is over where I am concerned. That's a relief. We won't survive this if we don't stand together. Can I trust you not to cause more trouble? Or I'll simply kill you both if it happens again. Let's go number one. That's a relief. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. You saw it. She did not seek out the conflict. You were the one going off on her artifact. She's crazy. She's she's straight up crazy. So the problem with her dialogue option is I don't want to like pick a partner, and it sounds like that's what that's all about. Let's find Carlac. Let's see if we've got any new dialogue with her. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazelle settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Okay, we've got more dialogue about touching her. Uh, I think we've gone through all of that. Alright, well, let's risk it. Let's try talking to Shadowheart and saying that we feel a deep connection between us. Let's see where that goes. Colonel 87 says, uh, Afternoon, Ox. I've been dealing with the headache of repairing my car from doing Uber Eats and DoorDash. Almost there to anyone thinking about it. Don't. Really? Uber Eats and DoorDash? Not worth it? Okay. Well, thanks for the advice, Colonel 87, and good luck with your car repairs. Don Magix says, Will you continue to stream Baldur's Gate 3 when Starfield comes out? Um... No and yes. No in that Starfield will become my priority and I'll be focusing on that game until I beat it. And even then I may stream it more. And uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, my, my goal right now is to also produce lore content about it, but we'll know for sure once I actually get into it. But uh, I, I don't p plan to abandon this game either. I want to pick it up again and I'm just not sure when. It'll probably be several months after Starfield releases. Let's do a quick save here, just in case I need to back out of something. Huh. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Ooh. Did you want something? You and I, we share something special, I think. I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. Um, <laughs> admit it. You've never had a relationship quite like this one, have you? Is it a relationship already? Barty Horn, that's a little... That's a little forward. How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I feel like we've heard I'm this already before. blessed to have you at my side, after all. I think that, okay, I think we've had that before. All right. Now, chat said that the uh, bow that I have her equipped with, she can't actually use. Yeah, you're right. Not proficient with martial weapons or longbows. So I need to give her a crossbow. I think I sold all of my crossbows. Wait, look at that light crossbow. Yeah. 
There we go. Can she use a goblin bow? She can. That's two to seven damage. The light crossbow is two to nine damage, so that's better. Right, did I get some gear? I think I got uh, a few things. Arrows. Yeah, the spell sparkler. Electric veins. When the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. Main hand only. Two lightning charges. Uh, well, that looks like something Gale could probably use. Zero to seven damage. But sorrow is so great, it's one to ten damage. Hmm. He does have lightning. Well, it's not like he does a lot of melee combat anyway. All right, so and now we've got a spear. Who could I give this to? I don't think Bardyhorn can use it. Uh, I'm going to miss the, the whiplash ability. That was really cool. The sorrowful lash. Well, let's play with this for a bit and see what the lightning effect does. Uh, okay, let's quick save. And I believe that's everyone we wanted to talk to. So let's leave. Seek and you shall find me. Can't have armor equipped. It's the helmet. Oh my gosh. Is it the helmet? Oh, yeah. Man, that is so frustrating. All right, Barty Horn. Get all those camp supplies. That's a lot of food. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Relax, your guard at the door let me in. We can pass a stealth check to slip back into the shadows. An intimidation check to say, stand down, I go where I please. A persuasion check to say, I don't want trouble, I just want to trade. A detect thoughts check to read her mind. Or we can do a bard slash deception check to say, I have a network of dangerous contacts who know I'm here. Kill me, they come for you. That gives us a six, whereas persuasion gives us five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do persuasion. Gotta pass a 10. Do I add a bonus? Yeah, might as well. Trade with what? Your life was ours the moment you walked in here. But maybe I'll let you buy it back. 
I have a job needs doing. We've disarmed the traps. Come down. Okay. Disarm the traps. That's good. I wonder what the next move is. No time to waste. Best avoid that trap. He said he disarmed the traps. Is that blood? No, never mind. She said she disarmed the traps, but she was lying. All right, we're going to have Shadowheart lead. Just because she's got better perception. Have to keep pushing. Ooh, and she failed. Megan looking. Step carefully. There's a trap. No one stopped me yet. Thank you, Gail. is more dangerous than I thought. Okay, she said she disarmed them, but I didn't want to risk it, and we've disarmed them all. Let's get going. Okay, Garyas. How much farther can I go? Don't get comfortable. And he's walking off. I've got a note here, a Zentarum note. Looks like it's on a bulletin board, so I think we can be safe to read that. What's that? The explosives are more volatile than a dragonborn's belch, and they cost more than most of you are worth. So stop messing with them. It took me half the day to attach the mines to the ceiling, and somebody took one down and lobbed it down the elevator shaft. If you're gonna waste resources, Zerus would remind you that you are resources, and she is not above throwing you down the shaft. And do you really want to risk attracting the attention of whatever might be at the bottom of that shaft? We're professionals. Act like it, or I'll break your fingers. I was told there'd be battles, not this hide-and-seek stuff. Right, uh, we've got a lever here, but that is red. Pulling it might get us in trouble. I need only tell her it's a gambling debt. It's happened before. All right, let's head down here and talk to the merchants first. Lumps, lads. Sealed lumps. Don't want open flames where we're going. Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Portrait. Um, lots of options. You have a pet artist? Or I do cut a fine figure. I'll take one. Let's ask about the pet artist. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs oh. protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? So you kidnapped him, huh? Protection sounds a bit more like kidnapping. Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats, not so much. Fine, I'll buy him how much. We can pass an intimidation check to say we can skip threats and go straight to blades, if you like. A persuasion che a check to say if he's so talented as you say, someone will be looking for him. 
a bard persuasion check to say if this artist were to tragically expire, his portfolio would become finite, therefore priceless. Uh, is this convincing them to kill the artist? And we have advantage on that one. I don't want to kill the artist. All right, let's pass the other persuasion check. Got to pass a 20. Dear God. Get it. These artsy tossers always have friends in high places. That's why they're valuable. But, yeah, might be we've drawn enough attention to this place. Say the money, bastard, if he means that much to you. That is crap would sell anyway. Yay! No need for this. Free me now, and I'll see that my patron rewards you. I need only to tell her it's a gambling debt. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? Uh, no, <laughs> don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. The Oscar Fevras, who is that? I've never heard of you, we could say, deflating the poor guy. Pass a bar check to say, I am the Bardiorn at yours. Excellent, when will I get my reward? Or don't worry, the Oscar Fevras didn't cost me a single coin. Or what will you do with your freedom? I'm gonna pass the bar check. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt, as is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. You're Lady Janeth's runaway groom? What happened? I don't care about your love life. I just want my reward. Or we could pass a bard check to say, Ah, patrons dallying with their dashing artisans. A tale as old as art itself. Quite. <laughs> it seems we are destined to doomed romances, are we not? She offered me a future. And so, in a fit of madness, I told her of my past. Of the woman I'd loved before she found me. <laughs> Love still, in truth. She was less than pleased. I mean, yeah. I made a timely retreat into the countryside to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. I mean, you, to you told her that you loved someone else. How did you think that was going to end? A truly horrifying dilemma, we could say. We could pass a bar check to say, I must know how this tragic tale ends. What options did you choose? Or all I care about is getting paid. We'll pass the bar check. Hmm? Oh, absolutely none. Uh, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. <laughs> Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. Oh, well, I mean, he has been captive for quite some time. We could say I'll give, I have nothing to give. I'll give you a serious discomfort to deal with if you don't get going now. Or we could give him 200 bucks. Yeah, let's do that. A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city, truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Shadow heart. Until Baldur's Gate, then.
And we got an inspiration from that. Now this is his painting. Painting of a smiling maiden. Painting of an elegant noble. Those look nice. Wonder if Can I the steal them? Pay better than this lot. Whoops, I gotta go take care of something really quick. I'll be right back. I hope the fist tries to storm in. I wanna see those traps in action. where we're going. Are we unpacking? I thought we was packing. Strip this place bare! Okay, we're back and good to go. Thought I was paid to crack heads. Not stack bloody boxes. Let's talk to this guy up here. You seem a nice soul. I'm glad we didn't have to kill you. Not this hide and seek stuff. <clears throat> Reckon I might actually miss this place. Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? Maybe. Let's see, lots of explosives, planning a war. A job? You were ready to kill me a moment ago. That depends. What is it? I'm just here to trade. I have my own concerns. Um, let's ask about the explosives. Cleaning up? We had a steady operation going here. Then someone kidnapped a duke, right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will want someone to blame, and I don't plan to leave anything pointing our way. This, uh, this job you mentioned, what's involved? Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. Interesting. Um, what's so important about this cargo? I'm offering hard coin, not idle answers. All you need to know is that I'm willing to pay a hideous sum to get it back. Unopened. Oh, I remember now. All right, I'll do it. Good. Backtrack along the road to the east and look for a wagon. Bodies, the usual. Time was. No one dared touch a caravan bearing our colors. Find whoever did this and remind them why. Whoops, did I already open it? I don't know if I did or not. We can definitely tell her that we found the bodies. Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? Okay. Uh, is this a glitch? Some of our find them. Keep them alive if them. you can. Failing They're that, dead. just God damn it! What about the shipment? Uh, I had your cargo, but I lost it. I think I left it back in camp. I'm still looking. Good. Reckon you won't find it here, though. 
Okay, let's go to camp. I think I left it unopened in my chest. Where is my chest? There it is. Caravan strong box. Look at that. Right? Is that it? I am really curious to see what's inside. Did we open it? Or complete the quest? Open it. I need to know if this is right. All right, I'm going to quick save here. Let's open it just to see what's inside. It's an iron flask and gold. Oh, that's right. A flask that can hold friends and foes, likely to make the former the latter. Mm. That's right, I did open it. I didn't loot what was inside, though. If I give it back to them in this condition, let me load my quick save just in case I didn't open it. Open the flask? Can I open the flask? Okay. What's that? I mean, what happens if I open the flask? Do I die? This is taking a long time to load just a recent quick save. Okay, well, let's see. Open. Uh, I can't open it. I can inspect. Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. We can pass an arcana check to investigate the flask. Fail! Ooh, roll again. Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding a creature. The sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited. Ooh. Can I open it? I guess I can't open it. I mean, it's not doing me any good, so let's try and deliver it, I guess. Um, I don't recall if I had opened it previously or not, so we're going to go ahead and load my quick save that I made just before I opened it this latest time, and we'll give it to them and see what happens. If they attack us, what do we do? Well, I mean, we could kill them all, <laughs> or we could... Uh, Hopefully, they'll give us an option to talk our way out of it. Oh, I'm always wanted. Let's try. You've already brought me bad news. Tell me you've got something better this time. We could give her the flask we found inside the chest, which would, of course, let her know that we opened it, or we could give her the chest. Hopefully that's okay. The Shaba's black bones, you bloody found it. Funny thing, though. I swear I told you not to open it. Couldn't you just be a professional? Do as you're told. No questions asked. 
Like so. Lads, kill him. Ah, come on. <laughs> uh, how many are there? Well, look, I opened it before I knew that these guys wanted it unopened. Daggone it. Or I could push him. That's a long drop. Whoops, I already made my choice though. I should have done... Oh, maybe I can push him. Breathe deep and move. Him to try this venom. Right, uh, let's see. My pleasure. They all three saved? Oh, come on. Are you please, Mistra? Let us finish this. Seems simple enough. Fine. Critical hit, nice. Have to keep going. <laughs> Good idea, Carmack. There we go. That was only three damage, though. I won't be able to push him over there, will I? Need to find a way forward. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> Critical mess. Come on. Imperial. Might as well try it. With diligence and care. <coughs> hey! Worked! Can't give up. 
Ren is dead. So we just got these two down here. Is Zari's dead? Zari's is dead. Okay, well, let's, um... Onward. Get to the edge here. One damage? Come on. Let's go. Really? That didn't... I thought she would go down first. Oh, man. That was a waste. Waste a step. Dance macabre. There we go. Well, we had to kill him. Okay. Now the contents of the crate is ours. Open. How did she know we opened it? And then we can't, uh, I mean, we can inspect it. Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Cyberash says, Oxhorn, give Gale Thunder Wave. It's the most important attacking spell of the game. It does damage and throws the enemy back. Disguised okay, next time. The decorative element. This is a powerful magic sealed stopper suggest. Next time I have a level up, I'll be sure to do that. Right, well, we've got bodies. Oh, they destroyed the ladder. Why is he walking? Oh, he must be in cover. Yep. All right, let's uh, spread the loot out a bit. Gosh, I have so much crap. Okay, that's good enough for now. Now, I came up here to explore. Oh, wait, we need to get the bodies. Terum key. Okay. A small dragon is cut into the handle. Faded drow leather armor.
Okay, I think that's everything weighing me down. Well, um, now, toxin recipe. Let's get that. Again, I would like to stress to any reader to only use these harmful solutions when absolutely necessary and never, ever against another intelligent being. Recipe for one vial of simple toxin. Extracts needed, suspension of bullywug trumpet, sublimate of belladonna. Method, blow or waft sublimate over the suspension of bullywug trumpet, make sure not to inhale. Close flask and shake vigorously. And don't forget, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. Someone has scribbled an excited note in the margin. Bellar, you've got to try this one, but be careful. These toxins are real nice, but they take a while to work. Bloke I used it on almost cut my head off after I nicked him. Worth it to see him choke to death on his own spit right after the attack, though. Brem. Recipe unlocked. Simple toxin. Samantha R. says, Hi, Ox. Have you heard of the game Killer Frequency? Uh, no. I'll go ahead and Google it after the broadcast and add it to the list. J uh, G J7 says, Give your cat a goodnight kiss for me, please, and thanks. Will do, J7. Will do. Hmm. Crate. I can't Just open the crate. crate. Ooh. Uh, smoke powder barrel. Ah, God. Those are heavy. Okay, anything else? Let's finish exploring down here and looting. Liar, silver ingot, and a music box. Oh my god. Long swords and all sorts of stuff. Okay, let's see. If we go up here, this is going to lead us down a path over there. Looks like it's a dead end. And then this. All right, that's where we came from. Let's see what's over here. Okay, so this connects back over here and then wraps around over there. What's this? Uh, the Approachable East, Volume 1. Great dukes and duchesses, lords and ladies, and all who seek knowledge of the world, welcome! I have traveled far, seen much, and recorded all. My odyssey began in a humble tavern where I met a Rashemi mercenary, an approachable fellow. He offered me a tale in exchange for a drink. I accepted and was soon wrapped as one ale became six. He told me the legends of his people, sharing their stories and culture. He told me of the lands he'd visited from the Silver Marches to Marshes, no Marches, to Kalimshan, to the Moonshade Isles, to the Plains of Purple Dust. The more he spoke, the more I realized I'd never traveled farther than Berghost. 
I felt like a fly spending my short life buzzing about a latrine, ignorant of everything I was missing. Well, no more. The next day I packed a bag and set out following the Chianthar East. I would travel to Rishenmen to see a magnificent world and document it all. A True and Impossible Adventures of Trinobo Moro, Volume 4. An excerpt from The True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebro, Tenebrox Morrow, a pupil, I'm sorry, a pulp serial following the real-life, quote-unquote, exploits of an interplanar ship's captain. The real Captain Morrow is known to never have left her native water deep and emerges from her rooms at the yawning portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts for fresh meals and ink. It is quite a feeling to follow, to fall forever. Of course, fall does not exactly describe it, nor indeed does fly. Each patch of sky in the elemental plane of air is bound by no laws but its own, rendering petty attempts at direction or definition meaningless. It is exactly this ferocious freedom that makes a plunge through the eternal blue the only way I've learned to truly relax. You seem distracted, observed Eurylees, shouting to be heard over the howling wind that the goblin could so easily pierce my inscrutable facade was no surprise to me, for she is a sage of considerable wisdom and a lifelong fiend, friend to boot. I am, I acknowledged, expertly adjusting my posture to avoid a drifting erect. Acronest. Lord Primus was forewarned of my contract to infiltrate his mind palace. I have to leave my entire crew on Mechanus just to escape alive. I could sense her frown beneath the bleached bone skull that eternally obscured her face. It was an affection of her monastic order, and soon, and just one of the many things I had never truly understood about her. All perished? Surely the traitor was among them. Perished? Oh no! I traded them. Lord Primus wished to study mortal mannerisms, and he was most forthcoming with the identity of my betrayer in return. I reached out across the divide and slipped from her finger the ring of command. With the loss of the magical item, she instantly ceased to fly and began to fall in earnest. A subtle distinction, but an important one. Her screams were already lost to the whipping wind by the time new bride loomed into view. I climbed aboard, weighing the ring in my palm. Its exact twin was nestled upon my own finger, forged by Eurylees many moons ago as a symbol of our undying friendship. Friendship. Worry not, dear reader. She is my friend still, and it is fully my intention to return and catch her someday. Interesting. So that's a novel, not necessarily something that actually happened. All right, we got food here. We can add to the camp wares. Savage Snail says D&D is known for having secret doors in walls. Oh. And I suppose you're telling me that now, uh, not coincidentally. Interesting. Well, we've got quite a chamber to explore here, though. Proximity explosive. Okay. And East Door. Well, well, well. Uh... Who's that? Vol. Um. Karat. There are more people here. Well, I've I. Ooh, how do we get over there? I mean, based on your comment, you're making me think I should go back and explore everything that I've already explored already, as if I missed something. Let's disarm this. It's a proximity explosive, though, so... Let's shoot it instead. Okay. Do we need to? Because she said she disarmed everything. Mm. 
And I don't know if these guys are going to turn hostile to me. Let's quick save and try it out. An act of vandalism has taken place. You might want to clear up this particular mess. Oh, okay. Um. I confess it was me, or maybe a little gold will smooth this over. Let's try the gold. Loosening your purse strings usually suffices, but not today. Your sins demand blood, not gold. Well, crap. There's a reason I made a quick save. Let's see if we can get out of this without another combat. Oh, but I already destroyed that one, didn't I? I did. Let's go down. Talk to this Karad. Wouldn't linger down here if I were you. See all that smoke powder? The flaming fist won't find nothing here but rubble. Okay. Not hostile, that's good. Frightened? Oh, she's frightened of the wolf. Right. Oh, crap. That's Istor. Do I have... Talk to... I do have speak to animals. Careful. No stone scent. No stone sound. Strange stone here. Interesting. Strange stone here. Is he telling me there's like a false wall over here? Oh, look at that! There must be something worth being kept secret through there. Well, well, well. Okay, interesting. Elevator. Okay. Doesn't work. I mean, I've got lots of keys. Okay, need a 10. Oh, that was cool. I'm so glad we have animal friend turned on. Ooh, what have we found? Just when I was getting used to the sky again. Long ride down. Is this? Fear not. Beyond the dark. Sun and 
dangerous Rolling place to stop will goods. Still be there, even for a cent. Waiting for us. Meanwhile, this place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? This no is the underdark. No painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. But perhaps our stories might, when we return to the surface. This is what we were looking for. This is what we need to travel to the next section, the underground passage. All right, let's save game. Let's do a new hard save. Lockpick. Whoa! Come on. Bear. Silver ingot, bronze ingot. Poisons, toxins, wicker basket, food. A heavy chest. Trap. Be cautious. Trap. Let's disarm it. Twenty-three. Now let's luck pick it. Gotta pass the 10. 17. The Underdark, as if we didn't face enough dangers back up on the surface. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. I think I clicked on her on accident. Let's redistribute some goods here. I think it's uh, my gold. I've got a ton of gold. It's probably weighing me down. Goodness, there are chests everywhere. Uh, uh. Gods, what's happening? Oh dear, we've got some earthquake stuff. Well, let's uh, lockpick. So many chests and a chasm creeper? What's a chasm creeper? Huh. Just a dagger. Torches. Can we get the Chasm Creeper? Mm. Recipe unlocked. Salts of Chasm Creeper. Right. Well, we could go that way. Fungal spores. Must be myconids nearby. Oh, great. What's a myconid? What? Do you hear it too? They're coming. They're coming. We
We could say, tell me I'm not imagining that voice. Or we could still our mind to this unusual voice. I guess let's still our mind. No, listen. A mic in it. It's warning us. They're coming. You're coming. That looks like a big minotaur guy. 84, it is a minotaur, 84 health. Right, uh, well, we could go that way and fight the minotaur. We could go this way, which leads to a dead end and a long drop with more chests to loot, however. Okay, let's go over here real quick, loot the chests. Okay, well, this is a dead end, and that's a long drop. It's really pretty, but there's no way I'm getting down there that way. So I need to go back the way I found earlier. Ooh, man, lots of stuff. Did I open these? Need to find a merchant. Can you believe this is my first time in the Underdark? The world is so big! Right. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Thing is, do we attack it from afar when it gets close to us and when we're way up here? Or do we... Wait for it to close distance. I think. Lost in thought. What's next, I wonder? Wanna dance? Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Critical hit, nice. Commence battle. Well, that got it down to 64. But I used some of my opportunity there, so. the way over here. Let's see what I can do from 60%, uh, 91%. Yeah. 
13 damage, yeah. Okay. Rapport spores condition. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. Great. Eighty-four percent. Eighty-four percent. Much. I hit, I landed the hit, but it didn't do much. I guess I should be doing electrical damage. Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Wade, and congratulations to Mrs. W, John Washburn, Bubba Trashkin, Elena Rosas, and Andre. Oh no, it's another one! Can't get to me from up here. Target must be a human. In. I'm talking. Forty-five percent. Forty-five percent. Ninety-one percent. He's currently got gaping wounds too. Can I can it stack? I don't think it can. Nice. Right. He can't get to me. I'm so glad I didn't go down. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I've only got one more of these, right? That's a 60%. 80%. But it's only 1 to 10. That's only 1 to 8. That's 4 to 24. But I think I've only got one left. I probably want to keep it. Um. So he's resistant to both ice and fire. God, it's hot in here. Tears protection, but let's do a ranged attack, frenzied strike, and rage throw. I can't do that just yet. Critical hit! Yeah! 15! Allow me to demonstrate. Alright, so he's only got 10 health left. Let's see how he fares against electricity. All right, they're weak to electricity. Love it. Well, we've got another guy over here. Come on. And he's going to go to the exact same spot. No! He did a brutal leap. All right, well, it's Barty Horn's turn here. I could do Cloud of Daggers. Let's try that.
Well, we know he's resistant to fire, but he's not resistant to holy. Twenty-one damage. All right, am I in melee range here? Yeah, reckless attack. Let's do it. All right, then let's back up a little bit. Whoops, I forgot about that. I could do another frenzied strike? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to enjoy this. Frenzied strain. What is frenzied strain? What is all this stuff? Using frenzied strike adds a penalty to attack rolls every time, stacking so that you miss more often. This adds up until the end of your frenzy. Oh my god! Reckless attack affects Entity has an advantage to melee and throwing attacks. Enemies have advanced walls against them. Okay. Well, I'm learning how this barbarian works. Critical hit! 32! Oh, he's only got 12 health left. Okay. All right. I'd love to, thanks. There we go. Okay. Well, we killed the Minotaurs. And we still got Claudic Daggers going on there. I think I can cancel that, though, right? What to do? By, um... Oh, Cloud of Daggers. There you go, ending my concentration. Okay, let's loot the Minotaur. Amulet of the Unworthy grants resistance to slash damage, grants vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. Why is it always gotta give me a pro and a con? Can't get there? Hmm. Looks like a trap. Traps! Stop! Stop! Traps! Well, come on! Yeah, I saw the traps, but my guys just came down and wandered into them. Guess I gotta do a short rest. Oh, I'll feel that one later. Jeez. All right, well. Now what might you be hiding? Can't give up now. Light on my feet. A swarming toadstool. Recipe unlocked. Essence of swarming toadstool. Well, that was a very satisfying fight. I got some good hits. And it made sense. <laughs> All right, so we've got two paths here. One long path that goes over there. And then another path that goes down and over here, leading to like a ramshackle village. Which path to take? I guess let's take the top path first.
broken bones. Must have fallen. Hmm. I see the broken bones. Skeleton, bone. Pile of bones, bones. Pile of bones, no loot. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Okay, so from here, we could jump down and go that way. We could go down that way, but that just leads to where we would have gone er earlier. Looks like there are more traps down there. All right, let's continue this way. What's this, a nightlight? Nature failed. All right, so it's just a light. Chasm Creeper, let's see if we can get this without falling to our deaths. Oh, another Minotaur! Is it just the one? But we don't have, uh, we don't have height advantage here. Okay, uh, right, maybe we need to go this way. Doubt I could sneak past him. Okay. Let's try this path. Known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. To what? To mask. Okay. Can I destroy them? Should I destroy them? of glorious vaulting. I think I know what that does. Ugh, there's so many environmental hazards. I hate environmental hazards. That wasn't a bullet, was it? Ooh. I got knocked down by something burrowing in the ground. Let's do a quick save. Right, time for a new cigar. That one is out of itself. Save, Ox, says the chat. Okay. <laughs> I will save. I'll do a hard save. Confused by one, blown up by the other. Ray. All right. Okay, so it dissipated. That's good. Savage Snail says be very careful here. Yeah, I can see that. Gonna have to be very careful. Ooh, what are these? Restless Myconids. Uh, are they hostile? They don't look hostile. 
All right, so a couple of paths. This leads back towards where that Minotaur is prowling, I think. Does it, though? That's where the Minotaur was, and... Yes? No. It's a, yes, it does. Okay. So that's towards where the Minotaur was. Well, I suppose we should go talk to these people. Scroll of Shatter. Hey. Right. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. Ew. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Alright, let's try to be peaceful with these guys. If we learned anything from The Last of Us, it's that fun guy. Don't mess around. We could focus on our parasite and connect with the Sovereign. We could tell the truth of the parasite. We only seek safe passage in search for our treatment. We could pass a persuasion check to say, I am a traveler seeking adventure. We could pass an insight check saying that we seek understanding and we can focus on the Sovereign's song. That's only a plus two bonus. We could pass an intimidation check. My purpose is private. Let me pass and I will leave you unharmed. That's only a plus five. We could pass a bard check to hum a peaceful tomb in harmony with the Sovereign. <laughs> I don't know what that'll do. I kind of want to do it. Let's let's try the bard one just to see what happens. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. We could again focus on the parasite and the connection with the sovereign. We could pass the intimidation check saying that we're, our purpose is private, or we could say, these tricks of the mind don't frighten me, I'll kill you. Well, um, I don't know what we achieved by doing the bard check, but we lost our persuasion check. So instead, um, let's do, I, I sense your fear, I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. All right. But descend to you? Did you mean ascend to you? <coughs> <coughs> Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Okay, don't talk to the servants. A dead myconid sprout. Well, before we loot bodies, let's, uh... I'm guessing this big purple guy? That's a mossy myconid. Hey, ancient sigil. All right, underdark myconid colony. Is this the guy that we're supposed to talk to? Seek me. Seek the sovereign. No. 
It's not. Uh, okay, let's find a sovereign. Reckless Myconid. Noxious Myconid. Blurg! A traitor! Yay, finally! Blurg! Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? We could pass a deception check to say, I collect mushrooms to sell on the surface. Uh, we could say, honestly, I kind of got lost down here. Or we could say a mind flayer infected me with a tadpole. Let's try and pass the deception check. We've got a plus six to that. And we can add charm person as well. Well, we get through. Then you've come to the right place. The hybridization among fungi in this circle is truly unique. Research in the Underdark sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. Oh, save failed arcana. Wait, uh, no, we could say, uh, what have you, your studies uncovered? This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. I've never seen a hobgoblin like you before. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Do you have anything interesting to trade? I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Okay, let's get rid of some dead weight. Boots of Genial Striding. The wearer's movement speed is unimpeded by difficult terrain. Nice. Circlet of Blasting. Level 2, Scorching Ray. The Baneful. This blade... This blade's magical powers only function if it's bound to an Eldritch Knight or is a Warlock's Pact Weapon. What? Right, let's uh, work on selling some crap. I don't think I should sell the Idol of Saloon. I don't want to sell any of my food. I don't know if I need to keep the Malachites or not. Uh, bones. Bottles. And then I've got a lot of books. I should probably go put the books back in my camp. As I don't need to carry them all with me. Loot gives me perform. That gives me perform. The Merryweather Bard. A uh, bunch of these. It's got a lot of uh, coin to bargain with, though, which is great. And then the rest of these are all camp items. <laughs> Let's uh, send a camp.
so much food. I wish there was a, a toggle to automatically send all food to the camp so I don't have to carry it around and do this individually. Rachel says sell the gems. All right, will do. I'm going to keep the water just in case I need to put out fires. All right, sell the jade. Sell the pearl. Agate. We've got a lot of agate. I could sell the iron flask. Okay, uh, let's... 233 barter. Good. Now, what's Gale carrying? I don't know if I need the helmet for somebody else. Don Magic says, sell gems, ingots, and necklaces. Okay. That's unique clothing. I should save that. Faded drow leather armor. Don't think I need that. Save Carlax boots. Send the kiwi back to. Oh, no, I can't do it from her inventory. Lizelle's clothes. And okay. Nice. One more to go. We've almost gotten all of his money. That's great. Uh, now let's see what uh, we want to buy, if we want to buy anything at all. Uh, boots of genial striding. Unimpeded by difficult terrain. If I swap out for the Githyanki boots, I lose out on the athletics plus one, but I could give them to somebody else. Scorching ray. I mean, my wizard already has that, so I don't think I need that. Though I could give it to Shadowheart. And then what's this? Is it a staff? The Baneful. No, it's a, it's like a halberd. Well, I don't really have a character that can use a halberd, except for Karlak here. But the Sword of Justice does between 6 and 16. This only does between 5 and 10. It's only, the magical properties are only functional if it's bound to an Eldritch Knight. So I'm not an Eldritch Knight. I don't know what that means. Uh, physic, physic missiles shoot an additional dart when you cast, cast magic missiles. All right. Well, I would have to get magic missiles equipped to my mage. Cinder shoes. Whenever you burn an enemy, you gain two turns of heat. What's heat? What's a turn of heat? And the Sunwalker's Gift. The wearer can see in the dark up to 12 meters. Nothing really interesting. Life bringer. When the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. And Melf's first staff, arcane enchantment. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Now that would be useful for Gale. He's currently got the spell sparker. Well, Melf's staff does more damage with bludgeoning, but I never use it for bludgeoning. But it comes with Melf's Acid Arrow, and it gives me spell saves. It's only 180. I 
think I'll get this for my wizard. I'll try it out. And these boots, I think, will be useful for some of my characters. Scorching Ray. I wonder if my cleric could use that. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. So many mine. gives him t uh, a new spell. We'll try it out. Now, she currently has this. When, he when healing another, the wearer regains one to six hit points. That's still really useful for her. He already has Scorching Ray, so he doesn't need a helmet that gives him Scorching Ray. Um, he's currently wearing the Line Breaker Boots, Adrenaline Rush. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain Wrath for two turns. She's got the athletics plus one. She has nothing. He's got speedy sparks. When you dash, you get lightning charges. Well, I think these should go on her. And then I think I should swap these out. Now, Chad is saying I should try to talk to him again because doing the worm <coughs> option grants additional dialogue. Perhaps Amelium is right. I should get a mask. Ah, the mushroom hunter. Have you made any new discoveries? Well, we don't see that dialogue option. Instead, we see, do you know anything about seromorphosis? Oh, a fascinating topic. Uh, may I ask the reason for your interest? Oh, and there it is. We can explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? That's impossible, oh. but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Yes, absolutely. A mind flayer. Die! And Illithid is your friend? How is that possible? Or sorry, Omilium, I'd rather not. Sure, let's see what happens this time. The last time I got a bonus. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. We can relax and let the Omilium's mind search our own. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Um... Can you extract the tadpole? Or what happens if the stasis goes away? Let's try that. I can only theorize, 
but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Thanks for the information, or all of that probing was useless in the end. Or can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. That doesn't sound ideal, or don't waste my time. Say what you mean. Let's try that doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Uh, we can now tell him about the strange Mind Flayer ship that we were on. A Nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Okay, well, thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Well, wait, I mean, if the stasis is the only thing keeping the tadpole from taking over our body, do we really want to bypass it? Uh, we can say bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and Timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Oh, great. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. Lovely. So where do I find these mushrooms? Um, let's try Lovely. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare. And their discovery, perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Where does this Lenore live? The Southwest, when I last saw her, although... Her tower does have a tendency to move. Oh, great. Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. Should. All right, I'll be back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. Cool. Well, I'm glad you guys had me go back for that dialogue option. Let's save. 
Now we need to find this guy. I'm guessing he's up here. Sovereign. Is that it? Thula. Mike and a dead Druger. Sovereign spa. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many. But intruders remain. Lakewood. The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. I suppose hmm. such wicked killers deserve wicked ends. Why did these Dwerger attack? Sure, I can handle those Dwerger nearby. We could pass a bard check to say planting spores in a corpse. What magic is this? We could say forget it. If you want them dead, you can kill them yourself. We could pass, pass a bard check to reply in kind. Tell me of the invaders, how the scourge moves, fights, and how it will crumble. Or we could pass a bard plus deception check to imitate the sovereign and lie. Good tidings, the Scourge is defeated, you are safe. Well, geez, let's try replying in kind. The Sovereign's song twists into images. Dwergar changing size, slipping in and out of invisibility, invoking craven divinity. An illusion comes over you. A Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. Okay, I guess we agreed to do it. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Okay, uh, we can now pass the bard check to ask planting spores in a corpse. What magic is this? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. Hmm, the spore magic is repulsive. You die by my hand. For these spores hold such power, how might I gain this knowledge? You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. You harbor a fugitive gnome? Admirable of you. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. And we can leave. Haste Spore Grenade. Explodes in a cloud of invigorating energy that hastens creatures within. Okay. That's what he gave me. Go ahead and quick save. Let's take a look at these corpses. If we loot them, they're red. But who's this? Thula. Don't. Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. 
most likely held by the poisoner. Hmm. We could pass an investigation check. She's helpless. Check if she has anything worth taking. We could pass a persuasion check. You're in a bad way. I could end your suffering if you want. Yikes. Who did this to you, we can ask? Dwego slashed me. Oh. Uh, we could pass a, a medicine check to consider what we know of the Dwegar poison lore. We need to pass a 15. Yikes. Well, we've got two dice chances here. Nice! Right out the bat. Like dwarves, Dwegar have innate resistance to poison and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Okay. Um, we could give her an antitoxin. Hold on, hold on a second. We could say, how did you end up here? My canids. Oh, oh I took pity on me. Sound, lads. Especially since the Greys gave him elf for it. Charitable bunch, these Mykonids. And he's more so than Corga and her pet snake. Let's try the antitoxin. Gail and Carlac like that. Ah, God! Whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? How could I pass by? You were in pain. Or does there have to be a reason? Or it's always useful to be owed a favor. Let's try number one. You were in pain. No arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But... <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick sharp too. I thank you for your help. But I gotta get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Interesting. Because I focus on what I need, a reward for starters. You're in no condition to help anyone, or take it easy and tell me what I can do. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwegar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. So Dwegars are just like uh, evil dwarves, hmm? What was this expedition your clan was on? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. We can pass a persuasion check to say that she's lying. Nice! It's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? No, I don't understand. Enough evasion and explain it. Or, all right, I'll free your people if I can. Or, sorry, you're going to have to save them yourself. Let's try and press her, see what happens. Explain it. Look. You've done me a good turn, and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell, I swear it. If you need to go your own way, I respect that, but still, I'm asking. All right, I'll free your people if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you, but here. I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegar ass. 
Hey. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Okay, Outlander, a noble in uh, endeavor. Alec is inspired. We got an inspirational point. And we cured the poisoned gnome. I wonder if we could heal her. Boots of speed. Click heals, class actions. Uh, click heals. Would boots of speed be better than boots that grant plus one to athletics? I guess let's try them. Okay. I wonder what happens if we try healing her. Looks like she's good as new. I wonder if we can have her go with us. I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? How long before you're fit to move? Don't know. Longer than I'd like, but a slow recovery, still a recovery. Okay, we can leave. She said she marked something on our map. Okay. Well, we've got a lot to, to look forward to here. We've got defeat the Dwegar intruders, save the Grimforge gnomes. There's the Arcane Tower. Path to the Kresh. Oh, path to Moonrise Towers. Find the Githyanki Kresh. Find the Night Song. Investigate the temple. There's a lot to do down here. Okay. Well, looks like this is the path that the Minotaur was blo was blocking. So, let's see if we can go down here. These acorn truffles are red, but this one is not. Recipe unlocked. Essence of acorn truffle. It's a quick save just in case I do something stupid. And get everyone killed. Deep Roth. Want Master back. He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Um, we could pass a deception check to say yes, I've met him. Or, uh... Can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. Haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Who is he to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Need some help finding him? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. <laughs> okay. Show me your wares. She has Amulet of Restoration, Healing Word, and Mass Healing Word spells. Wow, that would be really useful. Corrosive Flail. Tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. She currently has Vision of the Absolute. Blind targets that fail a dexterity saving throw. 
Two to seven damage. Three to ten damage. That's a clear winner. Potion of Invisibility. Turn invisible. The condition ends early if you attack or cast a spell. Man, there's just so much here. Heavy crossbow. Weapon enchantment. Plus one. Plus one. I see. That's a heavy crossbow. Light crossbow. Plus one. Hide armor. Okay, that's a heavy armor. Heavy armor. Medium armor. Scale mail plus one. 15 armor class. Let's see, what's this? Uh, this is the potion of invisibility. I should probably give this amulet to her, because she's currently only wearing a brass locket. So, let's do that. And let's get her a new flail. Hail of Thorns, level one conjuration spell. Cleansing touch. If the wearer heals a poison creature, it is no longer poisoned. Useful. Ring of jumping. Level one transmutation spell jump. Does this improve my jump ability? Caustic band. Your weapon attacks also deal two acid damage. And then we've got heavy, heavy, medium. Scale mail plus one. Scale mail plus one. I should buy this for one of my other companions here. That's chain shirt plus one. Leather plus one. Hide plus one. Padded. Well, any any of that is going to get me in trouble. Let's try... Scale mail plus one. Okay, let's give her the Amulet of Restoration. And... The Scale Mail. Okay, Dis disadvantage on stealth checks, but we don't do stealth. All that often. All right, where's the flail that I bought? There it is. Corrosive flail. Two to seven, one to eight. Nice. Now, we've got all of these light crossbows. He's got a light crossbow plus one. These two also have light crossbows. Let's see if I can buy a light crossbow plus one from her. Well? Show me your wares. Actually, we can ask, what are you doing down here? Right now. Waiting for my idiot husband's return. Lest you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. There must be something else you're up to. Like I told you already, I'm waiting for that Lummox Balin. The rest is my own business. Okay, show me your wares. Now let's see. Uh, heavy crossbow. No one's going to be able to use that. Light crossbow, plus one. That's an upgrade. And it's only 72. Can she use a heavy crossbow? I don't know. Probably. But I've spent enough money. Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. My home is wherever I travel. We could fill our heart with memories of our most treasured places. 
Pass a Baldurian check to envision the banks of the Chinothar, green and fertile. Pass a Baldurian check to imagine the bustle of the city's marketplace, the wild. Or pass a half-orc check to say, a tricky concept, but home is wherever you can make it, family too. Let's do the half-orc check. It shivers in understanding. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. Interesting. I don't need your help. Very well, you may join me. I'm not traveling with some overgrown mushroom. Join me, that depends. Can you make yourself useful? Are you sure? It's going to be dangerous. Let's do, are you sure? I am the danger. And I am the cure. They erased my people. I will erase. What threat do you pose to Dvegar? In death, your foe becomes your ally. I will raise it. You may command it. Okay, so we got some uh, fungal necromancy going on. <clears throat> Very well, you may join me. Remain in the Underdark, and I will follow. We cleanse the rot together. All right, so he'll help me as long as I remain in the Underdark. Awesome. <laughs> A new temporary companion. What is that? Monstrosity stares blankly forward. Yikes. Reckless, mossy. Okay, this is the first. Oh, find the mushroom picker. Find Balin. Looks like he's over there. All right, can we get over there from here? I don't think so. We gotta go down. Is that where he went? Into a chasm? Oh, great. Lots of bones over here. Journal updated. Finish the masterwork weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. We need a Suser Bloom. Yeah, it was in that basement where we found... Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away! What does that do? A bipper bang? Does not sound good. Do we attack it? Will this destroy the thing if I attack it? Let's attack this one, see what happens. Mushroom Enthusiast, Karlak is inspired. All right. One inspiration gained. Does this poison cloud fade? That's the question. Yep.
<laughs> no. So that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Okay, just wait for it to fade and then I can get the Susar Bloom to finish the weapon. Anytime now. Ooh, what's that? A hook horror? What is a hook horror? Dear God. There's another one. Okay, let's quick save. Anti-magic field. Okay, well it didn't last long. So we need to go north to find the dwarf husband. That's gonna be over here. Let's see, what's my time at? I got time. Okay, wait a minute. Anti-magic field. Will we all be stuck in an anti-magic field while we have it in our inventory? A Susur tree flower is draining the character of its magical energy, preventing it from casting spells. Well, come on, I gotta... Do I gotta go all the way back? I don't wanna do that right now, that's so far away. I suppose I could fast travel. Let's drop it and come back for it. Okay, well we know where it is. We can come back for it later after we complete these quests. Ruben says you can send it to camp for now. Oh, that's right. That's a good idea. Send to camp. Oh, dear God. Really? <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, there's someone back there. Oh no, did we kill him? Oh no, did we kill him? Ha <laughs> ha, shoot! I think we just killed him. Dear God. Oh no. We just killed him on a... Uh, <laughs> Connor says you didn't just kill him you nuked the poor lad yeah yeah I did didn't I well how would I have gotten to him like he was all the way back here <laughs> alright where's my last um, quick save it was right before I picked up the flower let's load it Let's see if there's another way to do this without killing him, you know? Lore Revolution says, well, you found him. That I did. I now have a definitive answer to send to the wife. But let's try and not murder her poor husband.
Okay. Feels like my magic is getting drained. Send to camp. Okay. Now. Chat says maybe use the shroom guy. Oh. I can't talk to him with the shroom guy. use one of my one of my characters okay well the thing is I don't know what these noxious fumes do what if I just no no bad idea right I guess I just got to be careful here um It'll be easier if I leave my entire party here. All right, what now? Wonder if the gods are watching me. Stop! Stop! Bippa bang! Where Bippa bang blows, noble stalk grows. The dwarf was harvesting valuable noble stalk amongst these explosive bibabang mushrooms. This is quite a predicament you've landed yourself in. Surely you can navigate around some fungi, can't you? We could turn away or pass a bar check to say, I'll do you a favor. I can sort out the bibabang and take a pesky noble stack off your hands. Let's try that. I got it, Jen! got stuck here instead. Scroll. Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Scroll? Okay, hold tight. I'll find your bag. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I need that bag, he says. Where would it be? Oh, there it is. Oh, we can just do it, maybe. All right, quick save. Ooh, maybe he can pick up the bag. He can't talk to people, but maybe he can pick up the bag. No, he can't. Ah. It's like it's up to Barty Horn. Interesting. It's quick save. Now time for the mage hand. Oh, you think mage hand would work for this? I'm back in here. Let me work my magic. Do I have anyone with mage hand? Oh, I could go for a good meal. What am I to do? Yeah, Did I get rid of his magic. mage hand? Scroll of speak with dead. Daggers, burning hands, animal friendship, protection from good and evil, peace. Hold person. Oil of accuracy. Okay, it looks like I don't have a scroll of hold person, or uh, mage hand. But I do have, uh, let's see, Elixir of Poison Resistance. 
What if I just... No, no. Bad idea. Ox, at any way you can re uh, rearrange your Between wizard spells. nearest library. Can I? Okay, he does have the Mage Hand can trap. Oh, there it is. Can't cast spells not proficient with equipped boots? They're penalizing me for the boots? Come on, really? Well, at least I found this out now. Ah, oh, man. That's why I couldn't cast Mage Hand. Even those count against his magic. Wow. What were the boots that he had on? Oh well. The path less traveled. Can't be added to inventory. Oh man. Well. We tried. Have a lot on my mind. Um, well, it ends. These emit a poisonous toxin, so maybe I should just uh take a potion. Elixir of po potion resistance. Can no longer be po poisoned. Mage Hand can throw the bag, says Chad. Oh. Oh, come on! Well, I lost my ability. No, no. Bad idea. I'd have to take a short rest. Okay, I had just done a quick save. Let's load that. Okay, let's see if I can throw this thing with a mage hand. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Take his boots off first. Of course. chat Well, I mean, you can back away from that now. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Ah. Right, as uh, What were you saying?
I went to quite some effort to help you. The way I see it, you owe me. Or, um... We know that he was getting bumble sticks, or whatever they're called. Hit your head on something, you seem a little bit more than confused. Fine, fine. My mind. Not what it used to be. I must... Need to go. For you. Your trouble. Ta. Ta. Scroll of invisibility. That's what I got for my trouble. Another step okay. Forward. I wonder what happens if we go to his wife. Wait a minute. Now that he's out of harm's way, we can explode all of these without killing him. And then explore to see if there's anything interesting in here, like, uh... Like this area over there. Alright. Chad says that I just destroyed the noble stock. What? What's the noble stock? Do I need it for anything? Ah, oh, guys. Still breathing, despite everything. What do I need it for? Okay. Alright. Well, I don't know how I would get it. How would I even get it? I, I don't really want to bother navigating through all this stuff. Like, if I have to creep through everything... Survival filled. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, it was in the bag. Okay. What's this? A Lolith candle? Recipe unlocked. Vitriol of Lolith candle. Can't get this last one. All right, well, I hope those candles were worth it at least. Okay, well, that one is done. Let's go back to the wife and check in with her.
the what? Noble stock? The mushroom? I knew I was forgetting something. What? Sorry, love. Oh, no. Absolutely <laughs> worthless. How long have you been down here? Think, Balin, think. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. <laughs> Crap. So I could have turned the noble stock into her. Um. Now that that's settled, tell me what you're really doing down here. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. What makes it so valuable? Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Could it cure Balin's memory loss? Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half and half of Noblestock. <laughs> I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Mm. We can leave. That old idiot. Reward. While it wasn't a joyful reunion, Dareth and her has her husband back now. We got the gloves of inhibited Kushigo. The wearer deals an additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons. Which I never really use. But we've got a lot of level up here. Uh, levels up here. That's great. Okay, spells. Choose the spells you know from the list below. Spells require spell slots. So I've got another spell slot here. Speak with the dead. Uh, I should probably do speak with animals. So I don't have to keep using those potions. And then replace spells. Let's change... I've really enjoyed Cloud of Daggers. Charm a person has been useful in dialogue. I used Hold Person once, and Tasha's hideous laughter comes in handy on occasion. I've used Knock. I haven't used Lesser Restoration yet, but it seems like something that would be good. Let's see what my options are. Glyph of Warding. When stepped on by an enemy, the magical effect will trigger. Feather Fall. Heroism, Long Strider, Sleep, Fairy Fire. All targets within the light turn visible. Attack rolls against them have advantage. Thunder Wave, this is the spell you guys were t telling me about. Releases a wave of thunderous force that pushes away all creatures and objects. Well, maybe I should get it for him as well. Bestow curse. Disadvantage. Fear. Um, drops everything and becomes fearful. Hypnotic pattern. They can't attack you. So the Bard has really interesting spells, not a lot of offensive spells. I guess we'll try Thunder Wave. Let's prepare spells. The few times I've used Inflict Wounds has been useful. Guiding Bolt has been useful. Healing Ward, Shield of Faith, Cure Wounds, Prayer of Healing. Haven't used that one. Lesser Restoration. Okay, so I've got that on her. 
known spells. Spells must be prepared outside of combat. Hmm. I see, so I can select the ones I want. I currently have protection from energy. Or I could do Beacon of Hope, Remove Curse, Glyph of Warding, Spirit Guardians, Daylight, Mass Healing Word, Animate the Dead, Speak with the Dead, Revify. I mean, that might come in handy. I should probably have one person who can raise the dead. Let's do that. Then for level two... Wait, what did that replace? Aid. Heals your allies by increasing their hit points by five. Spiritual weapon. That'd be pretty useful. I'm going to need this in case I have a status effect. Shield of Faith has been useful. And then I've got these healing spells. Okay, I think I'll keep these then. No scrolls cover that, says chat. Really? I shouldn't have Revify? Savage Snail says spiritual weapon is effectively a second attack for the cleric. Hmm. Okay, but that got rid of that. Can only be used outside of combat. So I got rid of Inflict Wounds. I haven't been using it that much because it's... I have to be able to touch them. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Can't afford to stay idle. Heals up to six allies. Uh, I only need to heal two allies. Let's try. Heal all allies you can see. Heals Bibble any creature bang. you can touch. Of course, it was Bibblebang. Heals any creature you can see. That's all they do. Take you. So I've only got a level 3 spell left. Alright, let's, uh, let's level go. her up. Okay, health increased class features. Spells, Legacy of Avernus Branding Smite. Possibly march your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible? Really? Uh, okay. Is that blood? 
No, never mind. All right, well, the only one who needs to level up is Gale. We cleared this. Now we need to head down here. Finish the masterwork weapon. Oh. Take some bark from the Suser tree. I got the petals, but now I need the bark. Kill the Dverger by the lake. Kill the Dver uh, Free the deep gnomes. All right, so we should go back this way and go down. There's going to be a nasty creature over there. What path lies before me? So I gotta go down here to get the bark. Let's do a hard save. Disadvantages. Got 75 health. It's gonna be tricky. Fist. Multi attack. Animating spores, release spores at a corpse to animate it and uh, turn into a servant. Interesting. Not enough movement. Aim multiple attacks at a prone target. All right, let's just walk down and get him closer. All right, so let's examine this guy. Multi-attack prone. No resistances. Okay, that's great. So then let's try the ice knife. It only did six. Well, he's still within range, so I'll keep him there. Let's keep with fire, baby. And he's prone. Great, so I can get him down here to do an attack that uh, hurts him when he's prone. Let's... Disadvantageous. In position. There we go, that's better. Miss! What's this? I can go again? Okay, um, where's that sword ability? Bestow curse, mirror image. There, spiritual weapon. I should probably get close first. On the move. Select weapon, let's try. Uh, let's 
try Great Axe. Mess, come on. Need to act fast. There we go. Well, the good thing about the ice is it knocked him over, and I think that's going to give him, the sovereign glut, uh, a different ability when the time comes. Ah, crap. He's no longer prone. Oh no, calling reinforcements. What does that mean? Hands. We're attracting too much attention. Oh no, I don't like it. Okay, uh. Seventy-five percent chance on a miss. Twenty-five percent. How is it disadvantages? Target must be prone. Crap. And I miss. Right, we're, we tried ice, let's... Oh shoot, he's got a few spells left. Um, acid arrow. 70%. Nice, 13, love it. Let's get him a bit closer. With ease. All right, Karlak, it's go time. Prevent it from turning invisible. Melee or smite range. I mean, I wonder what, can I get into melee range? Yeah, let's do that. Moving. Well, I got acid on me, but last rate, reckless attack. Critical hit, nice. Ball, 55%. Um, 65% on the Sacred Flame. 70%. Let's try that. All right, we got him. So we called for help, but it looks like uh, it didn't have enough time to take effect. Time to press well, ahead. we got through it. Combine three of these to create a supplement. All right, well, we need bark. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. And it's over here. Waypoint discovered? Hey. Okay. 
Oh no, there's another guy over there. Well, I should probably do a rest. I've got one more short rest. Oh, a little respite. That's one. But that doesn't give him more any more of his spells back. Alright, I guess we gotta do a long rest. Right, oh, but he leveled up. Yay! Gained two new spells. All right. Let's see. Well, uh, Chad really wanted me to use Thunder Wave on this guy. I don't see it down here. Shield. Find familiar. Shatter. Gust of wind. Pushes flaming sphere. What's this? Interesting. Summon a flaming sphere that damages nearby enemies and objects. You can move the sphere. Oh, that's cool. I gotta touch an enemy for vampiric touch to work. Fireball, eight to 48 damage. Shoot a bright flame from your fingers that explodes upon contact. Nice. Let's do that. Fireball and then Anime dead might be interesting. Shatter looks pretty good too. Or chromatic orb. Does thunder damage. That's a level three skill. All right, I did one level three. I should probably do a level two or one just to even things out a bit. Try chromatic orb. Wait, I could do more than one. I can do more than one level three spell. Okay. Fear, counter spell, hypnotic pattern, lightning bolt, sleet storm, douses fires, grant flight, fly to an ally. Pretty cool, I like that. Haste, gaseous form. Transform yourself or an ally into a tiny gas cloud. It can't fall and fits through small openings. It's very hard to damage. <laughs> Anime dead is pretty cool, but that's only useful in certain circumstances. Let's try a lightning bolt. Okay, prepared spells. Witch bolt. Okay, I don't need color spray. Don't need protection from good and evil. Magic missile might be useful. Let's try that. Oh, there's Thunder Wave right there. Let's 
Scorching Ray. This requires that I be right up and personal, so let's try Scorching Ray. All right, let's try that. Oh wait, no, I need I, I need lightning. Let's try lightning bolt instead of witch bolt. That gives me fire, lightning, ice, magic missile. Crown of madness. I never use that. So, Thunder Wave. Okay. All right, so, uh, I need to do a long rest, right? Mm. I applaud Well, I just taste. leveled up. Does that mean I don't... I've got my spells back, right? So maybe Prospect. I don't need to do a long rest. Well, hers are pretty much depleted. Soldier. Let's go ahead and do a long rest anyway. Wait, I've only got 93 supplies left, and this is going to consume 40. So I've only got the supplies for two more long rests. So I need to make the most out of this as I possibly can. All right, well, I don't have much time to do anything else, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a hard save. Can't save right now. The game is currently sinking. Right, uh, that's it for the stream. I've only got five minutes left, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. We'll pick up right here where we leave off the next time we have an opportunity to play Baldur's Gate. But for the rest of this week, I mean, Starfield is dropping soon, and I plan to be broadcasting it as soon as humanly possible. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, everybody, for joining the broadcast. I hope you'll join me for Starfield streams and lore videos, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye now. Oh.